Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Today is May the 16th of 2022. I'd like to share with you a word the Lord has given me this morning and I hope it will encourage you on this day. For those of you who are new, thank you for joining me and I hope this word will bless you as you listen. As with many of the words the Lord has given me, they refer to the return of the Lord and the steps of preparation for his return. And he has made us aware that his coming is soon. And so in the time of his coming, we can expect there will be changes in the earth. In the days we are living in, we do wonder, Lord, where are you? Why haven't you addressed the issues in the day we are living in? We want to see justice done and evil dealt with. We want to see the world we live in being a safe place, a place of security and protection. And yet we have experienced the opposite. But the Lord is speaking in this day to his people to encourage them that he is intervening in the world we live in today, that he is coming in power to make changes. This word today once again speaks of the Lord's plan to come and make the changes that we are crying out to him for. I hope this word blesses you today. This word is entitled, Your Enemies Are Being Judged. I'll begin reading this word with scripture. Deuteronomy 32, verse 35. Vengeance is mine, and recompense, for the time when their foot shall slip, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and their doom comes swiftly. This scripture speaks of a time when the Lord will come in his vengeance against the wicked. Deuteronomy 32 verse 43. Rejoice with him, O heavens, bow down to him, O gods, for he avenges the blood of his children and takes vengeance on his adversaries. He repays those who hate him and cleanses his people's land. This scripture, too, speaks of the Lord avenging his people and repaying those who hate him and cleansing the land. Psalm 98, verses 4 through 9. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre and sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. This scripture reference as well speaks of the Lord coming to bring his judgment upon the earth. And it encourages us as his people to rejoice in it, to break forth into praise, to sound the trumpet and the horn, making a joyful noise to the Lord for his righteous judgment that takes place. I'll begin reading this word. Times are changing, says the Lord. I am moving in an unprecedented way. My sound is going forth. The trumpets are blowing. The shofars are signaling the change, a change in environment. I am shifting things, shifting them off their foundations and taking the old down. 
Haven't I told you this is a new day and a new way that I am instituting? Those who thought they could never be moved out of position are finding that, yes, they are being removed from places of leadership and influence. They believed they were infallible and secure, but I am removing their security. Soon they will be no more. I am shifting and dividing the righteous from the unjust. I am removing the offender and raising up those who will triumphantly take the land and establish righteousness in it. It is a new season, a season of change, when all things will be shifted, for I am coming to take back what is mine, says the Lord." I am bringing my judgment upon the wicked, calling them out, exposing their wicked deeds, and making a display of my justice going forth. Who would have thought that I would intervene in the affairs of men? Who knew that I am a jealous God and would come to avenge my elect? Who expected a holy God to come? and establish holiness in the earth. This is the day when a cleansing will take place throughout the land, says the Lord, when governments of men will be trampled underfoot and the government of God established from sea to sea over the whole earth. It is the dawning of a new day, and a great awakening is taking place says the Lord. Revival shall come to the land as kingdoms of men are shaken and a loosening from the old and a freedom to enter the new takes place. Rejoice, my people, for today is the time of your release from oppressive slave masters. Come into your destiny as kings and priests, rulers and spokespersons, Declare my word and my goodness throughout the land. Raise up a sound of victory, for your enemies are being defeated and ground is being taken. Blow the trumpet, blow the shofar, blast forth the sound of my coming, says the Lord. This word encourages us that the Lord is on the move. He is telling us that the judgment of the unjust is taking place, that he's taking down the kingdoms of wicked men, that he is removing those in positions of authority, even in the governments of the land, and establishing his government in the earth. For those of us who may have doubted that the Lord would intervene, that he would come and bring judgment and justice in the land, we can be encouraged that this is a part of his plan to come and judge the nations. We are seeing chaos all around us, but in the chaos, God is working out his plan to expose wickedness in places of power and influence in preparation for the wicked to be removed. So in this shaking, the Lord is addressing the issues. Let's be encouraged that we will see change for good in our land, that we will see righteous government put in place and the people of God rising up in their God-given authority to be kings and priests, to be rulers in the land. This is the inheritance of God's people. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord continue to lead you, to teach you, to open your understanding to what great things he has in store for you. We can all rejoice in our God who delivers his people 
and sets our feet upon a firm foundation in him. Be blessed on this day. We'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.